Hello everybody, welcome to 3-Way Plays. My name is Justin and today we will be clearing the town of Prim in Fallout New Vegas, but we will be doing so using only the loot that is available within the town itself. That will include weapons, armors, aid, anything that can be used to help us clear this town. We will use it, but only if it's located within the town itself. And as you can see, I am starting off completely naked. We came straight from Good Springs. We went ahead and skipped Good Springs because you almost always clear that town with loot from just the town. So we're going to go ahead and skip Good Springs. We'll go to all the other locations in New Vegas, and we will be completely naked when we do so, using only the gear within the town limits to clear the town. And as you can clearly see, I have literally no items on me, no ammo, no aid, no nothing. And as this is the first video in the series, let's review our character build real quickly. So our main special attributes during this run, we have 9 into Strength, Endurance, and Luck. Strength and Endurance will give us extra points into Unarmed. We may not always have guns or melee weapons, but we will always have our fists. For skills, I put 30 points into lockpick, hopefully get us some good loot to use in the town. Medicine is up to 35, and our main one is unarmed up to 35. I did go ahead and take two traits. We're starting with good nature, plus 5 to several passive skills that we'll probably be using. Whereas the combat skills, we may not have access to many of these weapons in each town that we go to. And as well, I took heavy handed. Our unarmed attacks will do more damage, but less critical hit damage. We will be using unarmed quite a bit, at least at the beginning of each episode, until we can get that first kill in the town. So with that all wrapped up, let's go ahead and get started. For the town of Prim, I'm going to say that these mines are not within the town itself. It is on the bridge leading to the town. We will call this town anything within that fence line that surrounds it. So unfortunately, we cannot use these mines to try to help us clear this town, but I will disarm them so that I don't blow up. Go ahead and get these mines out of the way. Every little bit of XP counts. We will likely stay on this character for the entirety of the run. Now is a good a time as any to mention that while we are clearing these towns, we will only be giving ourselves one life to clear each town. If we don't make it, we don't make it, and we will fail the video. With the low perception and agility skills I currently have, these mines could be very dangerous, especially since I have no stim packs yet. Okay, we did make it past the bridge, now into Prim. There are several enemies up ahead in front of the Viking Vance, I do know that. But with Prim, you can sneak around the side here and get to the sheriff's house. There should be some items that we can use. In these videos, the first kill of the video is always going to be the most difficult because we're always starting out with nothing. We'll get that unarmed skill up a little bit as time goes on and things might get a little easier. But generally, the further into the game you get, the more difficult the areas become. So we'll just try to keep up with that. But luckily for us in this town, there is a couple of weapons in the sheriff's house. As long as some clothing items get us a little bit of armor. I can't remember what type of ammo is in here though, so we may not have the ability to use the guns. Into the deceased sheriff's house. I know that he has a couple of rifles laying around. I think there's one behind here. Yes. Varmint rifle. We will take it. Then there's generally one underneath this reloading bench. Yes, cowboy repeater. And he keeps an additional cowboy repeater under the bed here. Now this bed is important to note because at any time we can come back here and utilize this bed as a healing item as it is within the town. And we have a couple of clothing items here. We no longer have to be naked. Sheriff's duster, Brahmin skin outfit, and Sheriff's hat. None of these clothing items have any damage resistance so we will just go for the special attributes plus one to perception. Plus five to guns. Okay, I think we will take the plus one to agility and the plus one to endurance. So we've got ourselves some clothing. It is an outfit that I otherwise would have never worn, but with this rule set, it is encouraging us to use items that we may not have used before. The smallest items that would have been junk in any other playthrough may be life-saving items in this playthrough. I repaired the cowboy repeaters by joining them together, still in pretty bad shape and with no ammo. 
the Varmint Rifle in a little bit better shape, but only 10 rounds, but I'll take it, it's something. In this cabinet beside the bed, a Wasteland Wanderer outfit with the plus one agility and endurance, but also a two damage threshold, so a little better than what we got. Having looted the whole cabin, we did find some additional ammo, quite a bit, 308 rounds. Maybe we can use those to sell to buy some 556 and a sunset sarsaparilla is the only healing item that we have recovered so let's head out with our varmint rifle and wastelanders outfit and see if we can't get some criticals on this first convict okay and caution immediately I'm trying to hide behind this car still working with just a level one character oh and we were spotted immediately hadn't even gotten a shot off yet let's see if we can't get him some distance oh they're both coming and one has dynamite ah let's like let's, let's can we hit that dynamite level one character can we hit the dynamite oh we got it we got it uh weapon condition almost broken let's see what he has on him some more 556, that'll help. Some ways to get money, a dynamite, barnt rifle, and a Merc Veterans outfit. Less damage threshold, we'll keep what we have. Repair the varmint rifles together real quickly. Damage up to eight, looking pretty good. Oh, he's throwing dynamite. Oh, oh, he didn't get us. Okay, there's another one right around the corner. Oh, can't shoot his dynamite. Headshot. Don't throw it, you madman. Oh, 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 did he miss us? Shoot it! Okay. Looking good, looking good. Two down. Okay, and another varmint rifle. Got some cat eye and some ways to get money. Maybe Johnson Nash has something that can help us out. Okay, the outside looks pretty clear. I know that there's some people up there on that roller coaster though, so they might start taking some pot shots at us. There's some loot that we can get up behind that sign and the Mojave Express. Let's look in here. If we have the skills to repair Eddie, we could utilize him as well, but I don't think at this early level that we do. Try to fix with repair skill. 65 or higher, we're nowhere close to that. Electronic science 55, nope. And with parts, three pieces of scrap metal, two sensor modules, and some scrap electronics. I don't think it's going to happen, and we couldn't use Eddie after this point anyhow. So sorry, Eddie, you will remain dormant for this playthrough. Got some of Ruby's casserole here that can heal us. Take every healing item that you can. You never know when we get into that hotel what type of pinch we'll get in. Here by their bedside, we have quite a bit of ammo, some boxing tape, and a single shotgun. Set up on top of the building grab the loot up there i can't remember exactly what's there but it could be helpful then we still have to clear the convicts that are outside as well as inside and i believe the convict leader has a heavy incinerator okay yep loot up here we've got some drugs those could come in handy on a playthrough like this okay, let's go check in with johnson nash at the vicky and vance see if he has any explosives on him that Bison Steve can be a little tricky at level 2 or 3 where we're sitting at level 1. I just want to go in there prepared. I don't know what it was brought you to Prim, youngster, but you might want to rethink your plan. Okay, so weapons. Bladed gauntlet, that could come in handy. 9mm submachine gun, we'll never have enough ammo. Caravan shotgun but we're not going to have that much money. If I could get this dynamite and that bladed gauntlet, we'd be looking pretty good. Okay, after selling all of our junk to Johnson Nash, we can acquire the bladed gauntlet. Two sticks of dynamite. Any aid items? Stim pack. That's plus 51 HP. Purified waters. 15. Yeah, let's go for the stim pack. Okay, not looking too shabby. We do have some explosives. Now the issue with this first room is I don't think there's a way to sneak at all. So the bladed gauntlet is not much help. We're gonna need to go in there, drop some dynamite, and come right back out. Get out before they can hit me hard. Only one stim pack and only one life. 
Pip Boy light off, sneaking, dynamite in hand. Bats immediately. Bats immediately. Yes, they're both looking right at us. Let's see if we can get some lucky throws with the dynamite. Go. Hey. Throw it. Up. Oh, Up. Oh. Oh, I, ah, I got them both with one stick of dynamite back into hidden. That could not have gone better. Let's loot the corpses. Stay hidden. Sometimes an additional convict will come around the corner. Get out the bladed gauntlet. A 9mm pistol with ammo. Ooh, more 556 rounds. Two more sticks of dynamite. We're looking pretty good. Farmant rifle up to 13 DPS. Just to the right hand side after you walk in the door, there is a hard locked room with some miscellaneous loot in there, but it is easy hackable terminal, so let's open this up. Oh, and we don't even have the 25 skill. And I sold my magazine to Johnson Nash, oh no! Yeah, we're only at 20 on science skill, I did not realize that. And no magazine, nothing to boost our intelligence. So, the issue with starting with a low level character is we will miss out on some loot. Especially here, and it's not like we can come back and get it later, because we have to drop it as soon as we enter the next town. So, for instance, the unique 357 Magnum in the safe over here, Lucky, we cannot access because it's a hard lock. And even if we could access it, we would only be able to use it in this town. Still at full health. Got some lucky shots with that dynamite. Let's sneak over across the hall, find some loot, see if there's any heal items. And yes, cannot access lucky. So bottle caps during this run, we're gonna have the same rules for bottle caps as we do for everything else. Once we go to enter a new town, we have to drop everything we are holding to clear the town naked using only the loot within the town. So bottle caps will not build up throughout this playthrough. That of course is, except for Sunset Sarsaparilla Star Bottle Caps. We will try to collect all 50 of those so that we can clear the Sunset Sarsaparilla factory. Okay, enemies showing up on the compass. Now, we can access this door to the left. If we could have gotten into that maintenance closet, we would have gotten a key to this door. Would have made our life a whole lot easier. Do we have the skill to lockpick it? Oh, convict just inside. I see him on the compass, I hear his footsteps. We do have the skill to pick the lock, but we don't have any bobby pins. We have not found a bobby pin in Prim yet, so we are unable to pick the locks in Prim. Sneaking around to the main room, we cannot use the back entrance. This, oh, 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 that's not good. Oh, God, oh, that. Okay, we did not want to get seen by him. We do not want to alert the ones in the other room. They have the heavy incinerator. Hopefully it's just this one guy. Punch him. Oh, that bladed gauntlet is some good DPS. Took it down in one shot. Are we hidden? Yes, back to hidden. So some more 9mm, some more dynamite, and a hockey mask plus 5 to unarmed. Yeah, we don't look crazy at all. Okay, moving forward, I probably should have invested a bit more skill points into sneak. We'll have to check that on our level ups. Probably sneaking unarmed is the best way to go for a run like this, but not every town will have a good unarmed weapon. Six sticks of dynamite. Dynamite out. Let's try to, oh, oh. Try to get the drop on the convict leader. He has that heavy incinerator. So you can take him down and grab the heavy incinerator. That will help a lot with the second floor. Convict. Convict. I don't see the leader. Convict. I don't see the convict leader. Let's just take out these two. Hey. Oh! Oh! Taking a lot of fire! Throw it! Oh god! Oh, oh, oh my god! Oh, god! Get up! Run! Run, 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 run! Got hit with that heavy incinerator twice! Heal! Heal! 
Take some. Just, just run. Just run. And we were still on fire. Are we hidden? Oh, 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 oh. Not good. Not good. Bladed gauntlet is our best damage. Just grab it. Don't be crazy. You're right beside me. Oh, he's shooting me. Punch him. Punch him. Oh, heavy incinerators out. Heavy incinerators out. Move. Oh, head off. Let's go. Move, move, move. Get out of the line of fire. Oh, 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 oh. We don't want that other guy to go over there and grab that heavy incinerator. We need to grab. Let's take as much aid as we can. Grab the pistol. Take some psycho. Just run. Just get him. Get him. Just shoot him in the face. He's got a helmet on. Die! Okay, got him. Any more? Any more? Back to hidden. Oh. You know. I'm thinking in the future. Cannibal perk. Probably is going to be necessary. And a stim pack. A beautiful stim pack. Escape convict leader has some leather armor on. Yes, we will be wearing that as the incinerator. And oh yes, I think that this will do just fine. We still have the second floor to clear and we have Deputy Beagle in the adjacent room. Three Nuka Colas that will come in handy. And in this room also a mattress that we could have slept on and saved our stim pack. That's unfortunate. But we will take the opportunity to sleep and get our health back up. All right, and here we have Deputy Beagle. I don't suppose you came here to rescue me. And unfortunately, with this low level, we do not have the speech skill to intimidate Beagle into assisting us as a temporary companion. So we just have to let him go. Oh, that's just marvelous. Oh, a first aid box. Two stim packs. We are in a good shape. Let's just go upstairs with the heavy incinerator and run rough shot over these convicts. And I went around the way I usually go, but I can't get through the door, so I have to go all the way back around to the staircase to the second floor. Okay, at the staircase, head up. Grabbed three more Sunset Sarsaparillas on the way over here. So looking good on eight items. And there should be immediate convicts. Yes. Now, as long as I don't kill myself, we should have an easy time with these guys. One down. Getting closer to level two. Couple more Nuka Colas. Very easy lock, but no bobby pins. Repair of 35 or higher required to fix the elevator. Do not have it. Oh. Yeah, with this leather armor and heavy incinerator, those small arms just can't do anything. Just rushing straight through these guys. Oh, 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 pop up behind me. Oh, big group of them. Yeah, the plated gauntlet as well with this armor. They just can't touch me even at this low level. Yes, very nice. Getting closer to level two. Let's keep pushing forward. No need to even loot at this point. We just need to get this town cleared. Let's make sure we didn't leave any stragglers in the hotel. I do believe that there is a third floor now all those guys might have yes right here all those guys that we just killed probably ran down from up here i doubt that there's anybody left no looks pretty clear to me now we will keep in mind we should grab any sunset sarsaparillas that we come across that way we can chug them at the end of the video hopefully get a sunset star bottle cap okay yes that is the hotel cleared we need to go outside and clear the remaining convicts from the roller coaster track 
I know that there's a few that wander around up here. Yep, there's one. Bladed gauntlet! Yeah, it just rips right through them. And a level up, our first level up of the game. The bladed gauntlet is working really well, but that's who knows if the next town I get to is going to have any good unarmed weapons. So we don't want to be strictly unarmed. Yes, we can use our fists. I just don't see that going very well, especially with one life per town. Let's put up the science skill. If we get the science skill up, when we get to Helios 1, we should have an easier time being able to hack the turrets with the science terminal. So let's go with science for now. Got to keep sneak in mind and unarmed. We probably want to build up slowly throughout the run. And let's go for confirmed bachelor. 10% damage against male opponents. The majority of enemies we fight will be male. So let's go with that. Heading around the roller coaster track. I know there's at least one more out here. I think he posts up over here at the highest point. Yes, and there he is up there at the top. I don't think we can actually get up there, so let's get out a ranged weapon. Uh, I had the shot out of bullets. Varmint rifle out. There he goes down. And he falls down so that we can loot his body. All right, town cleared of convicts. Let's head into the Vicky and Vance Casino. Talk to Deputy Beagle. Hey there. Hi. Well, that was quite an adventure. Here we can start the quest, My Kind of Town, help bring law and order back to Prim. You will. That's just marvelous. And for this playthrough, the fastest solution, and the one I like to do the best anyhow, is to allow oh, Prim Slim here to become the Sheriff of Prim. Howdy, partner. And with a science skill of just 30, lucky us, we just leveled up and put points into our science skill. We can reprogram Prim Slim to serve as Prim's Sheriff. Law enforcement protocols reinstated, partner. My kind of town completed. Happy trails, partner. Was it enough to get us that level up to level 3? Not quite yet, 5 XP away from the next level up. And as for Prim, the town is now cleared of convicts. The nice people of this town now have law and order, but the town wouldn't really be clear if we left all these people in it, would it? Howdy. Clear the town! You guys are standing in the way of my completed video! That Johnson Nash hitting me pretty hard. Deputy Beagle surprisingly kind of competent. Uh, let's grab some aid. Down the sarsaparillas, purified water. Step outside, maybe they'll follow us out. We can funnel them through the doors. Oh, yep, they sure did. Oh, hit them all hard at the same time. Out of heavy incinerator ammo. And this might have been a bad idea. Oh, they are burning slowly. The dynamite out. Okay, several of them down outside the Vicky and Vance. Level up. Let's get some points going into sneak and we will up unarmed a little bit. No perk this level. Let's heal up a little more. Head back inside, make sure that we cleared everybody. Nope. Oh, a little too close to use the dynamite. Yeah, stand right beside each other. Did 
Johnson Nash, Cream Slim, Empty Beagle are all dead. So I thought I killed everybody, but I'm still in caution. Oh, Ruby Nash. The only surviving member of Prim. I'm here. Poor old lady. Oh, and stepped right on her face. Alright, everybody. That is the town of Prim. Officially cleared. All convicts and residents are dead, as well as the quest completed. And I think it's time to say goodbye to the town of Prim. And no, even though we do look this badass and the heavy incinerator is our new best friend, we cannot take it with us. As we give it one final look and say goodbye, we must also say goodbye to all of our loot. Oh, heavy incinerator, I barely knew you. And for anybody playing along at home, it is important to note, you cannot drop bottle caps, but you can put them in containers. So our 60 bottle caps that we had remaining has to go into the trash. Okay, everybody, I think that is enough for today. For any of you guys who know this game well, you may be able to see where I am heading. And that is where we will go in our next video. This is our brand new series on Fallout New Vegas. We will be going from town to town and clearing the town with only the loot available within the town itself. If you guys like what I'm doing, you like the concept, and you want to see what happens next, please hit that subscribe button. And if you want to be notified of any future videos, hit that notification button. Before we go, I just wanted to say that myself and everybody here at Three Way Plays genuinely appreciates every single person who takes the time out of their day to watch our content. We can't thank you guys enough, and we hope to see you all in our next video. Thank you guys so much again, and goodbye. If anyone should ask you, tell them I got those St. James in very blue.